hello my lovely people welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to show you how to make a garden egg fondant garden egg color knot and coral beads so please stay tuned and watch how i realize it i'm going to mix the fondant for garden egg now i'm making white garden egg so i'm missing two colors i mix, i missed um yellow and green as i said is a, a white garden egg but it's not actually pure white but if you see a real garden egg you know that the color is um, somehow is not pure white so i try to get the real color and i'm um, also making the green garden egg because garden egg has a lot of colors i'm also making the green one i'm still missing more green this time around with um uh, still tint of yellow to get the actual color so please continue watching i am cutting out the garden eggs right now the white ones i'm cutting them out to shape it to put it in the right form of garden eggs and then uh, after shaping it i am going to give it that mark that stripe mark so please continue to watch so as i'm forming the shapes if you are new to my channel i welcome you thank you so much i really appreciate your coming and to my old subscribers thank you so much i really appreciate you guys thank you for always watching my videos always coming around to watch my videos i'm using green color to make stripes all over the body to give it that garden egg design to look more realistic so my beautiful people if you have not subscribed to my channel if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do me a favor by subscribing press the red button and click the like my video also on the notification bell so that anytime i upload a video you will see it please subscribe so share my video please share my video in your instagram in your youtube in your facebook in your whatsapp share it with your family members i really appreciate that please share my video all over share it to anywhere shareable thank you so much may god bless you as you do so so please continue stay with stay tuned with me and let's see how all these things will turn out to be i'm also going to make some color knots coral beads all edible So guys now I am making the color knots um, I'm trying to bring out the shape the right shape of a color knot in my in our country Nigeria we usually call this type of color knot the Alsa color knot because of the color and the, the shape and um, if you are in Nigeria or I don't know for other Africa you know that color knots are very important to our culture we don't start anything our elders doesn't start any meeting without first the introduction of color knot and praying blessing with color knots so i'm making the shapes and trying to um outline the segment because color knot has um let lots of segments some has three some have more than three when you break them because we break color knot when you break them you see some are three parts some are four parts some are two parts so these are the lines the segment when you break them how to break how to the segment or how to break them and now is another type of color knot this one is called Igbo color knots this is the one they use in Igbo land this one used to have a lot of segment in it and the color will show you the that is the Igbo like in our culture the, we have Alsa color knots and the Igbo color knot and we call this one the Igbo color knot and usually has more segments than that of the Alsa color knot it can break you can break this type into many it has so many parts 
when you break them. Now I'm done with the color knots, so um, I'm going to finish the garden eggs because I've not yet finished the garden egg. So if you're still with me to this moment, I really thank and appreciate you for your time. Thank you so much. Please continue watching. Thank you. Right now I'm going. I'm using. I used um, green fondant to to cut out the shape of leaf. So that I will use it as, uh, as the leaf, as the garden egg leaf. All these things that I'm making will be placed on a traditional wedding cake as a topper. Because in our culture, this thing signifies our, our culture. It cannot be having a traditional wedding without having these three things there. They are more, very important. So after making this, I'm going to make the coral beads. I'll make the white and the red coral beads. Have you subscribed? Have you liked my video? Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. My membership is also on. You can join my membership. You can support my channel by joining my membership. I would so much appreciate that too. You see, you see the join button, you can press it, you choose the one you like to join. Thanks. So now I am making the, front, the coral beads. I rolled out the fondant, cutting out the beads. Um, the next thing is to use needle to fix the bead. Give it the shape of a bead, coral bead. So now I'm done with the coral bead. So look at it. Look at how it looks like a real bead. And I'm doing the bangle, the hand one, the hand bead. This will be smaller. This one, this is for the hand. Look at how cute it is. So I'll still I'll proceed now to do the white bead I'll proceed to do the white bead I'm rolling out the fondant cut it into pieces then form the shape use hands to form the shape into a bead like shape then I'll do the same thing with a needle and a thread I will, I will align it up So guys, now I'm done with the white bead and uh, look at it, beautiful also. So guys, look at it, voila. And here is the traditional wedding cake. This is the coral bead that I just made. <clears throat> The, the the red and the white one if you look at the cake you will see a, 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 a pot a pot of wine on top of it and a, a cake with filled with wine also all these things are the things you find in the traditional marriage all these things there is no traditional marriage you go in our land now you will not see all these things they all represent they call our culture so in this cake it has all of them here it represents our culture the garden egg the cola notes the coral bead the pot of wine everything are intact there so guys we'll look at it 
see how I used the garden egg to decorate the cake if you are still watching to this end thank you so much I really appreciate your support I really appreciate your time thank you for staying with me thank you for coming by for stopping by to watch my video thank you so much I appreciate you so much and guys look at the outcome of the cake and the garden egg the the color nut and the coral beads see what I used it for if you want to see the full video of this traditional wedding cake above just click the link below you will see the full video I've detailed everything there I want to thank you so much for your time thank you please if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel please like don't forget to like comment and share thank you so much see you in my next video bye bye